All right, I want to show you a very important, uh, I want to set up a, a test. I want to show you some things that I've experienced dealing with the Clems engine, uh, which is really interesting. And basically what I have here, this is a hydrostatic uh, pump. And I want to do a test on this. I want to have to run it off of a motor. And I want to show you the difference between a... Um, a constant um, thrust, which is basically the hydraulic uh, fluid is being pumped into a uh, orifice or a small nozzle, and it's going to have a constant load, uh, pressure load on this pump. That means that uh, basically whatever I'm trying to flow through that nozzle, I'm going to have a constant PSI load. And then I want to do an experiment with the same pump showing the difference I'll do the load on the motor and everything else of when that rim or that thrust is created into a rim jet and travels in a circle itself and what actually happens to the head load or the pressure load of the pump itself amazing how fast this pump starts to cancel itself out when you're rotating something at a high velocity in a uh, in the circle itself so this is one of the phenomenons I, I uh, actually was constantly getting every time I rotate the uh, Clems engine at a uh, high RPMs uh, now unlike a water pump it's the opposite a water pump when you actually restrict the flow and you get a pressure you actually get much lower uh, uh, load on the motor but as soon as you open that up you actually get more load because now you're moving more GPMs per minute so on the water pump scenario and a hydraulic pump they're basically the opposite a hydraulic pump you will actually have no load if you allow more flow to go through as soon as you cap that off and put it under pressure of course you're going to have a greater load but on water pump it's actually the opposite if you have uh, flow you're going to use more power if you have pressure you're going to use less energy in that motor to drive it so uh, hope you enjoy this little update and I got it set things up and try to find my gauges and see where I can get as long as I can get some kind of pressure reading on this to show the uh, thrust and that's basically what we're using we're using fluid thrust which is a totally different math it's not rocket science when it comes to just air thrust like coming out of a rocket when you're dealing with fluid like a bottle rocket a bottle rocket is basically where you a water bottle rocket is basically you're putting water in it and on the top of it the cavity there's a high pressure air pressure that's pushing it outward there's actually greater thrust in that than just air itself but overall I'll show you I'll try to set this up and show you the real experiments of why I came to a conclusion on this final uh, model I'll talk to you later